Amid the desperate search for Argentina's missing submarine last week, there was one small positive development that went largely unnoticed because of more important events at sea. It was Buena Aires acceptance of help from London. With no mention or thought to the past, the two old foes worked together to find the 44 missing men and women. The 1910 Brussels Convention on Assistance at Sea holds that every master is bound, so far as he can do so without serious danger to his vessel, her crew and passengers, to render assistance to everybody, even though an enemy, found at sea in danger of being lost. The UK's help WASNT just a token fulfilment of that, rather the contribution was, by my calculation, at least as great if not greater than anybody else's. By day 7 of the search, the British deployment was substantial by any measure. It included HMS Protector, HMS Clyde, a C-130 Hercules, the Royal Navy's submarine rescue assistance team, and RAF refueling tanker and the offer of Mount Pleasant Airfield on the Falklands as a base for any aircraft involved in the search. Image The Argentine military submarine era San Juan has been missing since November 15 on Wednesday, and RAF Voyager aircraft landed in Argentina carrying three tons of equipment including deep emergency life support store pods it was reported as the first time in RAF plane had flown to the country at least since the Falklands War. The accompanying photographs of Argentinian Air Force officers greeting the British pilots went viral. The pickup for what were otherwise rather unmemorable pictures reflected the global fascination in this sad story. On Twitter, I must have received hundreds of responses to my tweets from Argentines thanking Britain not me for its help in the search. Although not yet confirmed, I think we must now assume the submarine suffered an explosion and all on board D with it. Alastair Bunkleshire, there were the predictable few, from either side, whose opinions remained rooted in the ill feeling of history, but they were rare and either ignored or dismissed by other Twitter users. Throughout this the British government remained relatively muted, limiting their public announcements to a few carry-worded mod press releases. Privately, they were happy to brief journalists on the search's progress, but there was a very deliberate attempt to avoid over-promoting Britain's help which would have risked embarrassing Argentina. We were trying to be respectful, and Mod Source explained. Surprisingly perhaps, relations between the two militaries are not all that bad so much so that, a few years ago, a former chief of the air staff even went skiing with his Argentine counterpart. But politics have tended to shape the impression in recent years and strong nationalistic statements on the Falklands have proved all too easy and tempting for any Argentinian leader in domestic trouble. Image RAF servicemen are greeted by the Argentine base commander. Pix Guillermo Lobo politics has been rightly absent during this incident so much so that Oscar Aguad, Argentina's defense minister, visited the search headquarters recently and personally thanked the UK personnel involved. Although not yet confirmed, I think we must now assume the submarine suffered an explosion and all on board D with it. In the coming days the international search mission will scale down and the formality of funerals and public mourning will begin in Argentina. The episode HASNT been favorable to the country's armed forces which are clearly in need of modernizing but if the diplomatic legacy of this tragedy is a softening of relations between the UK and Argentina and perhaps even in time some joint defense cooperation, then the era San Juan's dreadful fate will have achieved something really quite important. Sky Views is a series of comment pieces by Sky News editors and correspondents, published every morning. Previously on Sky Views, Katie Stollard Pope's words will matter in Myanmar.